Hello, I'm Lance Zimmerman with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. Tighter feeder cattle and calf supplies continue to shape market prices. The USDA reported the January 1, 2012 feeder cattle and calf supply outside of feedlots as down 1.1 million head, or 4% compared to the previous year. The available supply of feedlot replacements continued to decline through the first quarter, but at a much slower rate. Through the first three months of this year, the industry's reduced slaughter levels and cattle on feed numbers remain mostly steady. Calf slaughter is down 12.4% through March at 187,000 head. First quarter commercial steer and heifer slaughter is 6% smaller, down about 400,000 head, and overall feedlot inventories on April 1st are mostly steady compared to a year ago. Feedlots with a capacity of 1,000 head or more increase cattle on feed by 2%, while inventory for feedlots with less than 1,000 head capacity is likely down 10%. These steady to lower numbers create a balance sheet for the April 1st feeder cattle and calf supply outside of feedlots that was lower than 2011. However, the decline was less dramatic than the previous year and the previous quarter. April 1st supplies were down 2.5%, or about 510,000 head. This is compared to an April 2011 inventory that was down 4.3% and a January 2012 inventory that was reduced by a similar amount. The available supply of feedlot replacements continues to shrink. Declines this spring are less dramatic, but supplies will continue to be a concern for some time, especially if cow-calf producers retain more heifers for the cow herd. Expect prices to continue to trade near the higher end of the recent trading range as the market attempts to ration a tighter supply of cattle to a mostly steady number of buyers. Hello, I'm Lance Zimmerman with the Cattle Facts Market Update. The fed cattle market was $1 to $3 lower this week with moderate trade volumes. Sales in the north occurred at $121 to $123 per hundredweight on a live basis, and $190 to as high as $195 in dress trade. In the south, the bulk of trade occurred at $121 per hundredweight. Feeder cattle values were $1 to $2 higher, while calves ranged from steady to $2 higher. Supplies are declining on available feedlot replacement cattle, especially as winter grazing programs end. Slaughter cow prices advanced two to three dollars higher, while the box beef cutout was higher for the week on moderate volume. Choice middle meats benefited the most with relatively tight supplies going into the summer grilling season, while weakness in the cutout continues from the 50% lean trimmings market. Corn prices opened the week higher, but declined late as export sales fell short of expectations. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. For more than 40 years, Cattle Facts has led the way. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, become a member at cattlefacts.com.